Most of you know Nintendo designed the uh, Game Boy system and the Super Nintendo system both to have a cartridge lock. That means when you put the game in the system, you hit the power switch, you can't remove the cartridge because there's a little piece of plastic that sits in a groove or sits on top of here where you can't pull it out. Did you know that the Neo Geo most likely had that as well? Um, but it was never implemented. If you look at the side of home cartridges, you'll see this little groove. Um, it isn't present on MVS, but truly every single home cartridge ever made has this groove. What was it used for? Well, a few years ago on the Neo forums, a um, member came up and started showing this evidence where he thought that it probably had a uh, cartridge lock, and I'm pretty sure it did. Um, when you turn over the system, the shell, every single one of these posts are used. Um, this holds the shell to the system when you screw it in. These two are not used. Um, there's nothing that screws into them, but I believe that this is where the cartridge lock went. And when you look at the power switch, you see this little knob. Now this doesn't do anything. There's nothing that the system hooks onto, but what it would hook up to is a, like a lever that would, it would sit right here. And then there's probably a piece here that slides perfectly into this little hole right here. And it's only on this side of the system too that has this little guide. And if you, if it had a, a, a piece of plastic on here, if you push it too far down, like on this side, it would, have, it would miss the cartridge slot, the little notch. So uh, I recently was bored and I got a new 3D printer, so I was testing it out. And I made this goofy thing um, to add the cartridge lock. It is completely worthless and I don't recommend anybody doing it, but here it is for fun anyway. See that? So well, there it is. The Neo Geo cartridge lock. The most worthless <laughs> Neo Geo mod, I think, ever. But um, it is pretty interesting why they uh, ended up not using it. I'm surprised that, you know, when they first rented this system, that they didn't include it because, you know, they're, you're renting several hundred dollar games and, you know, maybe they thought people were dumb enough to, to pull it out. But. Apparently they didn't do it. Um, another reason probably why they didn't is that some of the motherboard revisions like this, this cap gets in the way and it's kind of, I had to bend it down so this would work, but yeah. I was bored testing out a new 3D printer. There you go.